do, I would like to welcome Sachi Singh up to the stage of Rootless. She is an avid diver and surfer and will take it away. My name is Saji Singh. I am the founder and CEO of Rootless, and I'm here to talk to you about seaweed, which we love. Um, thank you. I'm curious, before I get into my seaweed spiel, who eats seaweed? Oh my God, amazing. Who eats seaweed for your health? Okay, okay. So uh, hopefully I'll have converted the rest of you by the end of this. Um, so I have spent over a decade of my professional life working on international climate and oceans issues, and as you can imagine, it is doom and gloom out there. Um, and in this journey of exploration, I've worked at think tanks, philanthropy, nonprofits. I got my master's in environmental management from Yale, so super wonky. Um, I discovered seaweed, and it was the first thing that made me feel like there was hope. Um, I truly believe seaweed could be future food, future farming, if we do it right. So I quit my job about four years ago to try and do it right. Um, I started Rootless as a way to create... Uh, I, I was going to do the thing and, and kind of read it from the slide, but actually the thing that I'm trying to do is make seaweed sexy. Um, trying to create consumer demand for seaweed, really put brand and storytelling and marketing around the health benefits of seaweed so we can create real value in that regenerative supply chain. We launched in um, a little under three years ago, direct to consumer with our hero product, The Daily Bite. It's a date, almond, seed, and seaweed bite. So seaweed like you've never seen her before. You'd eat one a day as you would a supplement. Get that super potent hit of seaweed nutrition without, and I quote, having to lick the bottom of the ocean floor, <laughs> which, is, which, is a problem, which is a problem with seaweed, exactly. Although I, I love it. Um, we're direct-to-consumer, as I said, subscription-based business. Um, we're benchmarked, price benchmarked to other subscription-based companies. So each bite is a little over a dollar a day. And we sell them in monthly packs. Um, okay, each bite has over 40 essential macro and micronutrients, including your daily dose of iodine. If this is the only thing you take away from this five minutes, I would have done my job right. Iodine is an essential mineral that your thyroid needs to make T3 and T4 hormones. T3 and T4 hormones are used by every single cell in your body to convert food into energy. So we describe the thyroid as the battery of your body. Oh my God, time is going so fast. Um, if that baby is not charged with iodine, everything else is working less efficiently. The symptoms of iodine deficiency, subclinical hypothyroidism, which of course impacts women more than it does men, and perimenopause and postmenopause are actually quite similar. So we're talking stubborn weight gain, sluggish metabolism, dry skin, dry hair, dry eyes, brain fog. For this reason, uh, oh, and the bites give you your daily dose. For this reason, we have found very strong product market fit with women who are navigating a major hormonal journey in their peri and postmenopause um, um, stage of life. Um, and it's because of one simple reason, the bites work. Um, we recruited about 36 women um, to eat the bites once a day, every day for four weeks and report on their hormonal imbalance symptoms. Literally 100% of these women felt less severe, less frequent, or completely stopped feeling the symptom that they came in with. And for the women in the room, these are big symptoms. This is, oh, hi. <laughs> this, is, this is chronic fatigue. This is uh, hormonal dryness and acne. This is bloating, constipation. The bites make you poop, so it makes you more regular. Um, we all need better poops. Um, and this is why... <laughs> This is why it's working. So over 50% of our revenue comes from um, subscription, just recording revenue. Um, the efficiency of our marketing program is too because we have a really sticky, high um, LTV customer. Um, I think the thing to think about here is we're building trust and credibility in white space. So um, pardon the pun, but menopause is hot now. Um, people are talking about it finally. It's a $600 billion market opportunity, and um, we're first movers. We're really building trust with this woman. Um, we just, uh, speaking of you know, diversified sources of capital, we just raised an equity crowdfunding round where we raised close to half a million dollars with actually some of investors are sitting in this room, a uh, half a million dollars um, through our community. So $500 minimum check size, and over 65% of our SPV is uh, is filled with women who are first-time retail investors. So not professionalized. They're really putting, um, investing, you know, with their values, which was exciting to see. Um, the big dream here is to build a collagen story around seaweed. So if we do our jobs right, um, when you go to your grocery store in the next two to three years and you're looking for your hormonal wellness solution, whether you're, you know, in puberty or in your pregnancy or IVF journey or postpartum or menopause, um, you will be looking for your seaweed and rootless product.
I love that you're not only talking about just hot flashes and that there's so many other symptoms out there. I think that this is so important. And the fact that we're talking about this in the open is phenomenal as somebody I am in the target market. Let's talk I, after. I got some seed for you. So. <laughs> I will not let that bias my decision. No, It should, um, though. <laughs> no, it, 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 what I love about this particular product is that you're really addressing a consumer problem. It is very niche, uh, but it's wide enough across um, age, um, different age sta- ages and stages. Um, talk to me a little bit about sort of future expansion plans beyond D2C. Um, Great question. So we're direct-to-consumer for now. Um, And as you could see, or maybe I I went through too quickly, our margins, even at this small scale, are pretty solid. So we're at a 53% gross margin post-logistics. So depending on how much we spend on on cost of customer acquisition, we either start to make money on order number two or order number three. And we have sticky subscription. Um, I am trying to think about grocery and retail for 2026 and 2027 with a more retail-friendly form factor. The truth of the matter is, I think, you know, in the previous panel, we talked about getting on shelf in grocery is easier. Getting off of the shelf of gro- is in grocery is hard. And with the category creating, you know, seaweed story, uh, no one's going to their Whole Foods looking for their seaweed hormonal solution. Um, so what we're going to try and do instead uh, to expand our offline footprint is um, start to uh, activate proxies of trust where, you know, women over 40 are already spending time offline. So we're talking Pilates studios, wellness centers, medispas. Like we're, that's how we're going to go to market and start to build more of a retail presence around her in places that she trusts. And then, you know, once we build a little bit more brand equity and have created a little bit more of this, this collagen story, if you will, um, go, you know, to the shelves of a GNC and a Whole Foods with um, uh, a different form factor. So 50% of your revenue is from subscriptions. How did you attract those customers and why do they stay with you? Um, they stay with us because the bites work, which is awesome. Um, and uh, actually the stat that I wasn't able to, to get to is there was just a, a report that was released in Lancet this month um, that was talking about global micronutrient deficiencies. Five billion people, that's 68% of the world's population, is iodine deficient. And um, uh, the third most impacted country is North America, which is also kind of myth-busting, you know, because many people are like, oh, the West does not uh, suffer from iodine deficiency anymore. It does. And it's mostly women. Um, so uh, we're giving you that daily dose of your, you know, bioavailable seaweed-based iodine al- along with the other bioactives and, and phytonutrients. So the thing works, which is great. Um, and um, we acquire that uh, the initial kind of set of customers through paid social, through organic, through partnerships. Um, I'm trying to think a little bit more creatively about how to build a digital funnel that is not just throwing money down the drain with Facebook and Meta. So um, we're trying to build out an affiliate model. Um, there's actually something new we're launching in a couple of weeks, um, which is a little, which kind of puts us a little bit more closer to femtech and health tech than it does pure CPG. Um, and I'm happy to talk about that offline. Thank you, Satri.